Well actually initially when I was born the doctors said that I had cerebral palsy and this was the diagnosis for about 25 years or so and they also said my mum had the same condition and we just accepted it really and I never really thought too much about the future or you know whether it would change I just got on with it but a few years ago then my mum was sent to see a specialist and he did some tests and asked to see me and discovered the diagnosis was wrong that we actually have this other condition called HSP. What did you think when she told you about this challenge? I wasn't actually surprised because it's, um, last year she did the Flora Heart Hero so this is just another big thing for her, it's brilliant. I'm delighted for her and I know she can do it. I actually got an email from somebody in work about this programme, you know, that you were looking for volunteers and I thought, oh, that sounds interesting and thought Lynn would be interested, so I sent it on to her and, you know, she persuaded me this would be a fun thing for both of us to do, so I put my name down and she said she put her name down and then changed her mind, so. What do you think the main accomplishment will be? Hopefully a hell of a lot of fun, if nothing else. I mean, she's clocked up an awful lot of other accomplishments over the years, from marathons to ice skating and other stuff, as well as the swimming. So, I mean, you know, this is the type of thing that's just up for rally. Do you come to the gym often here? Yeah, I go to the gym twice a week and the pool twice a week. And do you think that's been a major part of your preparations for your challenge? Yeah, definitely. I don't think I'd be even considering it if I wasn't going to the gym. Yeah, they're going to try with a big one first, mm -hmm. so that might ease the nerves a bit. Yeah. I didn't think I would be nervous, but um, now that I actually got here and seeing what she's going to do, it's... Um, uh, you want to have a go yourself? No. <laughs> Just want to give her a big hug. <laughs> what is your ultimate goal? Ultimate goal in mm. life? In life. Um, tough question. <laughs> Put you on the spot here. Yeah, I suppose well, my goals probably change every so often but I suppose just to, like I said, I'm so used to, over the years to people telling me what I can and can't do and I've always listened to other people and kind of lived up to their expectations or tried to so I suppose just to set my own goals for myself and learn my own abilities and make my own decisions in life and you know be happy with that I guess. Well, it was the PA teacher uh, wasn't very good from that point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually, you were Julie sitting at the side of the. I seem to spend my life trying to prove people wrong, and I suppose it's been a while since I've felt that sense of achievement. You know, I've over the years I've done little things that doctors maybe said I wouldn't be able to do. Um, I went ice skating there a couple of years ago, and just the feeling was amazing. You know, I needed a lot of help, but. It was really worth the effort.